Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be taking you guys along with me as a tech. I did just get out of the gym and I did upper body today. I am drinking my protein. I actually am starting to like this flavor, which is strawberry and it has 30 grams of protein. It's actually pretty good, not too sweet. I do like to take it when I have the chance with ice, but today I just got out of the gym so I don't have any ice with me. Thank you so much if you are already subscribed. I appreciate you so much and let's get straight into the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I do have a lot of videos that I want to do for you guys. I just need to learn how to manage my time. That way I have time to edit and record these videos. And as you guys already know, the first thing I like to do is to wipe my whole desk off just because you want to get rid of all those germs. For breakfast, we are having our bagel and avocado, just the usual, nothing too big. Our first cast removal of the day was a thumb spica cast. This type of cast has the thumb included only and the rest of the fingers are free. This cast is the one that I believe teenagers hate the most because they can't swipe on their phones, but other than that, this is a pretty simple and easy cast. A few moments later. Up next, I have this short arm cast that I applied on a little baby. Her fingers are so tiny, and honestly, besides that thumb spike a cast, a short arm cast is the basic cast that you will ever see because all your fingers are free and you can basically do all your daily activities. And remember, if you can, make sure to chart when you're out of the room. This way you add every single detail that you did on the patient. Otherwise, just use your cast card and write everything you did on the patient. That way you don't forget about any details that happened during the visit. Two hours later. All right, guys, so I just went to the store to buy a quick wrap. I will show you guys what I will eat today. And then I will also show you guys, hopefully I have more casting this afternoon, so I will show you more of that. I am so hungry, honestly. I think the only thing I ate this morning was that bagel and avocado, which was so good. But I am super hungry, so I'm going to eat this wrap up. So with my wrap, I always like to add hot sauce. And here I have some pea chips. Honestly, this wrap is just so delicious and so good. I always like to go to Walmart when I have a chance and buy a couple of them just so I can have extra for the next day. And here I will be applying this boot on a kiddo that had a foot injury. So he will be wearing this boot for the next couple of weeks just so he feels a little bit more comfortable. But when he is ready, he will be able to walk with a regular shoe. A few moments later. All right, and this is the short leg cast that I removed on a patient that only had it on for one week. This is actually a club foot cast, so we change these weekly. I also do want to apologize because my hair is a mess. I'm just looking rough. This shield over my face and a mask is not helping either. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are masking up. Please take care of yourselves and wash your hands. Here is a little baby that's just a couple months old and these are clubfoot casts. These are also changed weekly and with this type of cast, parents actually unravel them at home and then when they come into the visit, we apply new clean ones. Two thousand years later. 
And for our last cast of the day, it's this long arm cast. And as you notice, I did not fold back the stockinette because I'm actually going to come back and split the cast open. This way the patient can take the cast off on their own at home in a couple of weeks and they don't have to come back to the facility. And of course, this is just for this patient. This does not happen for every patient. Two hours later. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys so much, and we'll see you in my next video.